guys, I'm Rob Boucher. Uh, got hole number six from uh, front runner 39. And uh, I met Mark and uh, Phil 2019, right when Hurricane Dorian was going through uh, St. Augustine. Uh, went to go out on hole number one. Didn't have any, really just had the fiberglass on it, no material or bolsters or cushions yet. And I uh, went out the inlet on that boat, had quad 400s on the 39, and, and the ride was impeccable. Uh, I have bad knees from being in the Navy and ankles and stuff, so that was important to me. And to find something that was an all around boat, whether it be uh, fishing with my friends in tournaments, uh, spear fishing, or hanging out with my island and on the island with my family, or just running to dinner with some clients. So I needed that uh, really, uh, I guess, universal type boat that would make everything kind of work together versus having a boat for this and a boat for that. So met up with these guys and uh, went over the boat and found a lot of great things that I liked about it. What I would most be probably compliment the most uh, to those guys on is the fact that they're always open for corrective criticism, as I would call it, or adjustments. Because uh, you know, when I when I do diving and stuff like that, there's some things that are non-negotiable. As I test drove a bunch of boats prior to, I knew what I did and didn't want. And one of the cool things that I think, you know, whether it be the dive door or uh, just the contour lines on the tower or you know, how they do the windows and the downstairs. I mean, they were so flexible and working with me and making sure that they're going to put out the best product available. So I, I just couldn't find uh, anybody else who would do that type of quality of service and, and, and take care of their clients the way that they did. And, you know, now we've built uh, hole number six is live. It's got the quad 450s. Um, it sits big. It sits like a big boat with 11 foot six beam and, you know, over 39, eight foot long. So it's a, uh, it rides big and, and and it gets the compliments because they took the time to do it. But I think ultimately, and I'll close out with this, is probably the best thing about those guys is when Mark and Phil delivered the boat to me, um, they thanked me. After I thanked them, they thanked me and they said, no, thank you for helping us be better boat builders and pushing us and just making us get outside of our comfort zone to put out the best product on the marine industry that we can today from 139.